Are you tired of taking testosterone replacement therapy and thinking, what happens if I just stop taking it? Maybe you just don't want to take it or you don't think it's helping you, but you're worried about side effects or you don't understand what can actually happen if you just stop taking cold turkey. My name is Dr. Terranella, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through what happens in your body and what you might feel when you stop taking testosterone replacement therapy. As I said, my name is Dr. Terranella, and if you're new to this channel, I just want you to know that I'm making these videos because I enjoy helping people connect the dots and go beyond just the basics of their health. Whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis, I enjoy helping people get a better understanding of what's going on with their health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's connect the dots on understanding what happens when you stop taking testosterone replacement. So a lot of people are asking the question and want to understand what happens when I stop taking testosterone. So what I've seen in my practice is that the levels of testosterone will start to rise again, but most people don't wait long enough to see those levels rise. So instead of returning to their baseline or pre-testosterone levels, they retest or restart the testosterone too early. So let me walk you through a week by week scenario of what a typical person is going to feel and what's going on with their testosterone during those times when they stop taking TRT. So what happens in the first week when you stop taking TRT is basically nothing. Your blood levels of testosterone will actually be a lot lower in that first week, but at the tissue level, you're still going to have plenty of testosterone there. And the typical person is not going to really notice that drop in the serum in the blood because the tissues are still very saturated with the testosterone. However, on week two and three, you are going to start to see a decline in the testosterone levels at the tissue level. And with that, you'll probably notice a decline in your energy and any other benefits that you're getting from the testosterone. Now, when I say energy, I also mean like motivation, cognitive performance, and things like that. Maybe you'll start to see about a 25% decline in week two and three. And it's in week three and four that your levels are going to be probably right about at their levels. This is the point right before your body starts to kick in and increase its own production of testosterone. The tissue levels on week three and four are basically bottoming out, and you're going to be at the height of your withdrawal symptoms or fatigue symptoms. How soon those symptoms come on and the severity of those symptoms is really going to depend on how much you were taking, how high were your levels, how much benefit were you getting out of that testosterone, and where you started out to begin. In week four and five, your LH and FSH levels are going to start surging. And because of that, your estradiol levels are also going to go up with that. Now, if you don't know, FSH and LH are the hormones from the brain that stimulate the testes to make testosterone on the LH side and spermatozoa on the FSH side. The FSH happens to be an aromatizer, so it also will stimulate more estrogen production. So even though you're producing more testosterone as a result of the surge in FSH and LH, a lot of it's going to be bound up because you're making more estrogen. And it's in that week five and six range is when most people are going to be back to their pre-testosterone treatment levels back to their baseline, whatever that started out to be. Now, the reason I say five to six is because there's always going to be some variance with individuals. It's going to depend on where your testosterone levels actually started out at and then how much you're taking to supplement. So if you're taking a huge amount, you know, it's going to feel a lot different than someone that was taking a very small amount to adjust their levels. Some people are going to have more severe symptoms and feel very, very bad when they stop taking testosterone. So it really depends on what that variation is between where you started and how much you're actually taking. And if you don't understand that from the beginning, you may want to look a little bit closer at what your levels look like now before you stop taking testosterone. Maybe you want to just reduce your dose first for a few weeks or even a few months before you just stop cold turkey. There's lots of different options out there. Check out my other videos on coming off testosterone replacement therapy. I'm going to have another video on understanding your dosage of testosterone. So how did I do? Did that help you better understand what happens if you just stop taking testosterone? Maybe I didn't cover a specific scenario that you're curious about, or there's something I need to clarify in this video. Drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.